friends welcome to yet another edition of the program focus on development of skill for teachers who are going to play extremely important role in achieving the objectives of education and as you know it's called the new architecture in the field of education this program is basically focusing on set creating sets of skills to the teachers who in term will deliver the knowledge skill and also develop the learner to the level of competency where they are capable of harnessing national and international opportunities but for that as you know that across the country all stakeholders through dedicated discussion interactive meetings as well as giving inputs discussion grassroots uh, interactive meetings a new education policy draft is being created and this draft has been put in a public domain to invite inputs suggestions criticism all in other type of observation so that this document becomes unique relevant and dynamic in nature so that the education is playing extremely important role in transforming our nation and hence before we focus on development of skill for new educational architecture we have to understand this vision this vision is basically in the form of national education policy draft which envisages an india centric education system as you know that this system should be relevant india centric and that will contribute directly in transforming our nation which is important that we want to transform cre create opportunities and make use of all opportunities for for transforming into sustainable equitable and vibrant knowledge society and how it is possible by providing high quality education to all and as you know that the new institutional architecture which is created is is focusing on certain issues how it is possible to meet this vision that we have to revamp the school education higher education teachers education professional education and research component that is inclusive and holistic approach of education as you know in always any developed country the base is education and education along with research innovation and transforming the knowledge into reality and creating wealth from that and for that we we have to revisit our higher education system which will not only uh, create the competent manpower but also create uh, uh, world class institutions across the country as you know that india has been always looked as as a source of very competent human resource and for that india is a youth country and the gross enrollment ratio is required to be now increase by by attracting or by uh, by providing opportunities access to the learners who are eligible to come for higher education and hence from existing 27 plus uh, percentage of gross enrollment ratio we need to create it up to 50% by 2030 when we talk about increasing gross enrollment ratio it is not only quantitative expansion but it is qualitative uh, expansion as well and hence the sustainable quality achievement is also the main focus in school education higher education as you know this is there is a integration between school education and higher education and hence the new vision and architecture for higher education has been evolved by well sourced vibrant multidisciplinary uh, discussion and which will result into creating multidisciplinary institute friends as you know that in our country we have more than 800 universities more than 40000 colleges and these system should be consolidated on the qualitative qualitative issues qualitative background 
and create into excellence and transform them into excellent institution and hence the number should be minimized and it is it is proposed that out of this all present institution college and universities 15000 excellent institutions will be created and for that we need to understand that the new higher education is not only uh, creating this institution but they are well sourced they are given the autonomy in terms of academic administrative financial so that they excel in teaching and research and as you know that we need to expand the research and uh, teaching capacity so that we build the strong educational communities as you know that the importance of multidisciplinary cross disciplinary as well as transdisciplinary programs are extremely important and hence there should be a free education removing all partitions between the various uh, various disciplines faculties or subjects and hence when we talk about transforming the institution as you know that we are focusing first on creating the system and designing the system in such a way that the teachers with the competent with the uh, with the training will be able to deliver the objectives and as you know that only this is the time where india has created uh, poise to create the system in which we need to transform our our opportunities into reality and this is possible through well planned and well executed execution strategy and every stakeholders including teachers will play extremely important role when we talk about now creating excellence we have to also see the requirement of the manpower of as compared to the growth of manpower requirement and growth of uh, the nation the growth of nation in the form of industry in the form of service sector in the form of agriculture in every sector we need the different types of manpower with certain background ex, uh, knowledge uh, competency and skills and hence we have to not only create excellence in in education in research but there should be a uh, division classification of the dedicated manpower required for certain types of uh, jobs and hence there th the the focus is on creating again categories among the these 15000 institutions the the first type of institution can be a creation creation of excellent research in the form of uh, high standard teaching and research as you know that in the global scenario the technological development is becoming very fast the technologies are changing very fast and these technologies are basically with respect to optimization of resources maximum utilization of uh, resources and most important is basically productivity improvement quality improvement and along with this you need to also meet the demands and the security whether it is security of energy security of uh, of environment security of food and security of the nation hence this technological development is extremely important and for that the educational institution focusing on developing high technology is very essential and for that some institutions will be transform into world class research institution where the teachers will be engage in the world class research and they will be engage in the global research on contractual basis as well as you know that when we talk about development of artificial intelligence big data analysis cloud computing you name it there as basically health related technologies and human related technologies are becoming extremely important and for that the world class institutions focusing on high end research along with high standard of education will be created and hence it is basically uh, very important to understand that this is not the only type of uh, competency we need we also need basically uh, where there is a striking balance between research and high high quality education for that we need to also understand that the human resources full of knowledge of different discipline and having the 
uh, interest having the capacity to innovate to do the research is required and hence this second type of institution will focus on high quality teaching across all discipline and also which will uh, be also contributing in teaching as well as research. So, research and teaching will go hand in hand, but more focus on high quality teaching.